Hey, what's up guys? It is Dan Lags, and welcome back to the third and final part of the McDonald's Let's Build. So guys, um, in between episodes, I did a little bit of landscaping. I just couldn't couldn't resist. Um, I added a few more trees right here. I'm going to add many more later, but uh, yeah, just a couple there just to get started. They're pretty tall, but they look pretty nice. I added the McDonald's sign, of course. You have to have the golden arches. It's the, uh, the glimmer of hope when you're driving down the highway absolutely starving. <laughs> and uh, yeah, so I added these little like weird shrubbery things to the front, which I actually think had a nice uh, color to it. You know, like adding, adding that green just has a nice contrast to the red. It just um, it reminds me of Christmas. No, I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. But um, yeah, I mean, that's what I did. I added this little pole here. Uh, what else did I add? I added a few bushes. Don't know if those are necessary, but I added them anyway. Um, and that's pretty much all I did. So... What I'm going to do on this episode, guys, is I'm going to... Well, first off, I'm going to fix this. Then I'm going to um, actually do the interior. And then we will be done with this Let's Build. Just a quick little series. And I think it looks pretty awesome. So um, what I'm going to do, I'm going to get out an iron door. And I'm going to get out a button. And I'm going to make it so the iron door is... You can only go through with the iron door. So that, that's what we want. Because we want like the, it, it's kind of, we want that like employee access, more or less, from the back. So that's what we're going for there. Um, I'm going to do some little bit of shrubbery, a little landscaping real quick uh, before we really get rolling here on the interior. I'm going to change all of this out to um, grass. I'm going to do a little bone milling and a little bit of uh, shrubbery. Just to, uh, you know, add some more green. I think the green will add a nice touch. Even though this is kind of like yellow. It's kind of a shame that uh, this is desert biome around this area. But, that's eh, it's okay. I'm just going to bone me a little bit of this. And then I'll add, like, some, like, assorted bushes throughout. Stuff like that. Real simple, actually. There. Real simple. You know, just add a nice little touch. Uh, over here, we don't need that because we got the employee exit. And speaking of that, we need to make another little crosswalk thing here just because we don't want an employee just getting off work and getting hit by a car that would be bad we don't want no employees getting hit by cars that we don't want that you know that's just that, that's not good service i mean having just an employee just just you just come around the drive through you're all excited for make double and you just see a guy lying in the middle of the street and just got hit by a car and no one cares and you know that that's just not i don't even know what i'm talking about right now but whatever anyway <laughs> um what are we gonna do with this let's you know what I have an idea. This is something I don't really want to do right now because it's a, it's very time consuming because I want to get to the inside right now. So I'm just going to do this real quick and then I'm going to do the rest of the uh, exterior stuff on my own time. I'll do it like either I'll cut and do it off camera real quick or I'll do it just completely on my own time. So we'll decide because the interior, the exterior stuff is totally random. You can do whatever you want with it if you are indeed building this, but the inside you might want a little couple of pointers, so we'll, we'll go on the inside in a second. Let me just add a little random bush thing there. And look at that. Just simple, subtle touches that just make everything look better. Last but not least, let's do it right here as well. But for here, I'm going to get out some spruce wood blocks. I'm going to place one here and one here, and I'm just going to make a little thing like that. And then I'll bone meal the rest. Nope, that's not bone meal. That's a wood block. Perfect. Okay, let's go inside. So, for the interior, this is going to be a little tricky because the interior kind of makes no sense at all. Um, in here, these bathrooms, probably not even going to do these because they're so simple. I've done these before in the KFC, so I'll probably just do them exactly the same. They're just I just basically put like, some cauldrons down and stuff like that. You've seen me do bathrooms millions of times, guys, um, so I won't even do that. But I will be doing the interior design so let's go ahead and get out some stuff we need for this i'm thinking some yellow wool some some of that let's get out some birch wood and some item frames and some fences and some pressure plates and what i'm gonna do i'm gonna make like a little divider thing coming across here maybe like right here and this is just gonna be um I guess like what divides the booths up. So I'm gonna take a. We're just gonna make these booths real easy, real simple. Just two on each side. This works perfect. I didn't even mean it to be so perfect like that. Okay, so that will come across here and here. Put the pressure plates on top. Ain't no way I'm gonna stop. 
<laughs> and, uh... Oh, you know what? I just thought of a cool idea. Let's get. Let's turn this into yellow wool. Might not look as good on the uh, back of the birch wood stairs. But we can add some white on top. And now it just looks even more McDonald's. -y. It just reminds me of that clown. or What's his name? Ronald McDonald? That guy's creepy. I was always scared of that dude when I was a kid. That's why I was always afraid to eat at McDonald's. Because, like, I remember when I was, like, four years old. I don't know how I remember this. But I remember when I was, like, four years old. I, like, my mom didn't, like, we didn't ever eat at McDonald's. But, like, occasionally we'd go there. And um, I'd always be scared because I would worry that, like, the clown was going to be there. Because I was afraid of clowns when I was a kid briefly for, like, a couple of years. And it's weird because, like, it's weird how that happens, like, when you're a kid, when you're really young. So I used to be absolutely horrified of dogs. I used to be really scared of dogs. And now I don't even know how that's possible. I literally love dogs so much. It's kind of weird how that stuff changes. But I am rambling. I don't, we don't need that. So that's kind of our little divider wall. We got two booths on each side, which looks pretty cool. We need some cauldrons. That's very important. We can't go... It can't be a Dan Lags build with a couple of cauldron bush things everywhere. Because what is a Dan Lags build without it? So I'm just going to randomly place some of these on some random walls. Like one right here. Nope. That won't go that high up. You know, it, it may not... It may not really make sense for, like, a real-life theme here with these bush things. But, you know, we're adding them anyway because I like to add them. So that's that's pretty much that. Should I make one? No. I actually could use some sort of lighting here. What what to do with that? Uh, maybe not. I didn't do any... I, I'll probably add something to the ceiling. Okay, so... Next thing we're going to do... This is going to be a little, like booth area thing over here so i'm just gonna simply i'm just gonna make this really simple it's just gonna be like that and like that and like that just these small little like coffee stations i guess they don't, they don't even know if they have stuff like this at mcdonald's i know they have like coffee and stuff at mcdonald's not like i've ever had it but i mean yeah just that's where you that's where you drink your mccafes or whatever they're called <laughs> so there we go um right here we can add a table or something, like a little condiments, I guess. So I'm gonna make a, I'm gonna make make this a little bit cheesy. That's gonna be the mustard, and that's gonna be the ketchup. There you go. <laughs> Simple as that. And then I'll put some little cabinets down here as well. Just little cabinets. We need trash cans. That's important. That's another thing that you find a lot in McDonald's because you need to throw away your trash. Put a trash can right here. I'll put a trash can right here. I'll put another one. I'll put two of them over here. Like that. We'll leave those open. And there we go. We have our ketchup and our mustard. Let me let me add some little things here so I can just so this looks a little bit better. There we go. And you know what? I'm just gonna throw a brewing stand down here because why not? Just that's brewing something. <laughs> okay, um I guess I'm gonna put another one of these right here as well. Uh, we need some more tables, so let's go ahead and put a, down a couple of tables. Just maybe like two, if if that many at all. So I wish the uh, stone would look better so I could use some stone pressure plates on the top of these tables. But stone looks kind of poop in this texture pack, but I still use this texture pack because everything else looks pretty amazing. This is by far the best texture pack on the Xbox. I don't think I'll ever use Nat, or I don't think I'll ever use default again. It's just this texture pack is texture pack, texture pack. Is a uh, texture pack. What am I like, Arnold Schwarzenegger or something? Go charge us, go. Anyway, um, I don't even know why I say stuff like that. It's stupid. Whatever. Let's go put another one of these bushy things in the corner to add some. You know, when you're when you're getting your ketchup and your mustard and you're throwing out your trash, you need a nice bush just brightens the room. I don't even know, but yeah, that's what that's gonna be. Um, I might put in a couple more of these little. Nah, that'd be kind of awkward. Wait, no, no, you know what? I'm gonna do it. Uh, I gotta stop putting this stuff away because I have to keep going back in and getting it out again. That is that, and, uh, right here. Okay, so, we're gonna put one more little booth thing right here. Just because, you know, I th it's a good spot for it, I think. So. There we go. Okay, so now we have a table there, we have a table here, we have three tables, or two tables on each one side. I think that's pretty good for tables. Right here, um, 
I don't really know what we could add here. Maybe like a menu. That would be probably a good good spot for that. Or even the menu would probably be good right here. Like I could put um, like item frames across this and add, uh, I don't know. Let's get, go to the food. Just can, uh, Rotten flesh is probably something they sell at McDonald's. We got uh, fish McBites. We have a, I'm not going to touch that stuff because that's just disgusting. Uh, steaks. Yeah, let's just put some steaks. We got raw McDouble, regular something. Fish McBites and Rotten Flesh. That's what they sell at McDonald's. Okay. <laughs> um, I'm going to get out some of these and these. Okay. So I'm going to place that there and that there. And for the interest of time, I would write McDonald's on the back of these, but just pretend that says McDonald's. So that's cool. Uh, in here is going to be the register and all that stuff. We'll do that in a second. But first, I'm going to add some bookshelves here. Now, this may not be the best thing to put here. But I'm going to do it anyway because bookshelves look nice. So we're going to add some bookshelves to the to the place. And yeah, so let's go ahead and do that. And let's just, let's just assume that these bookshelves are maybe like... Um, oh, you know what? Forget bookshelves. I thought of an even better idea. This, this is where we can put the drinks and stuff. So what am I looking for now? Uh... For new no. here, this is what I'm looking for. Okay, so let's just say we have the like this drink machine things here, go like that and like that. They're next to each other, and then I could put some iron doors in front. And there we go. We have our uh, what are these called? I don't I don't even know what to call them, but we have them. <laughs> I'm gonna add some uh, lighting underneath of these. I go all the way down in here. Add some lighting underneath just to, uh, you know, add some stuff to it. So we don't have to, we can just hide lighting. That's always smart. There we go. So now we have our thing. So when you come in, you can get your drinks from there. You can order your food. You can sit down in those assorted places to sit down. Um, over here, we need to add something. I could add like more tables along this wall and that's most likely what I'm going to do. So let's just do that. I got to stop clearing my inventory because I always have to go back. This is like the fourth time I've had to go back in and get all the stuff that I need for tables. All right. I'm just going to make sure that I have all the spots for the tables done before I do that again. Okay. So we need like this, like this. Okay. Go like that. And then I think we have room for one more. Maybe not. So just one table here. Or we can make it slightly larger. That would work. That would definitely work. All right. So nighttime is a good time to, um, to just kind of just make sure that it's light enough in this in this building. It's pretty dark in here still, so I definitely am going to add some, like, stuff. The ceiling is very flat, so I will add some stuff to that. But first, I just want to make sure that, I mean, there's an extra thing there. Maybe I, I might actually put another one of these little, like, room divider wall things here as well. So, like, right here coming up. Please break that. Just to add another one of those little room dividers. That, that looks good. And then I can add some more trash cans here. So you never have too many trash cans in McDonald's. Look at this. Okay, so now we have our drinks, our ketchup, mustard, stuff like that. Tables of plenty. All we really need is just more lighting and um, the back room. So let's go ahead and do the back room real fast. Um, I do need lighting back here, so I'm going to go ahead and just place some glowstone down real quick while I do this. So we need cast registers. And I'm going to have like the person sitting here, and there's going to be a table for them, like right here. And this is going to have a cash register and a brewing stand on it. Why not, right? So that's where they'll sit. And I can actually even add light back here, just, just put it back there. It's not like they're gonna, no one's ever going to see that. That works. So then you sit here, you know, you do your little money transaction and you hand them their food or whatever. And then over <laughs> I'm just like, so just whatever. Okay. So I could place 
glowstone and like hide it back there. Same same deal over here. Look at that. Very simple. Hand them their just take their money and just give them their food. <laughs> okay, so now in here I'm going to make this insanely simple. Like just the simplest thing in probably in the entire McDonald's because this doesn't need to be super complex. I mean, you can go all out with it. Absolutely you could. But it's not really necessary. Because who in the world is going to come back in the back room of a McDonald's, right? Like, nobody except for the people that work here. So I need that and that. So I'm going to place one right one right here and one right here. And actually, one right here. I need uh, gray wool to patch that up. And I need stone bricks to fix that. Look at this. And just like that, really. Very simple. Or even, I could even go like this. And then I could go like that, maybe? Let's just do that. That looks cool. And then I can add a refrigerator here. Um, oh, did you hear that? My stomach is growling. Man, I should go eat something. I just ate, though. It's weird. Stomach, stop being annoying. Anyway, let's just stop talking about my stomach and put a fridge there. So now we have our refrigerators, we have our grills. Um, what can we add right here? See, now I, I, I'm trying to get creative with like some sort of like fryer or something. Uh, but I can't really think of anything. So, you know, I'm just going to put some sinks. Um, you know, like, we you know whenever you peer back into like the McDonald's kitchen, they have like the fryers with like the, um, with the, I don't know what to call them, with the, the fries. The, the fryer for the fries. I don't really know what to call it besides that. But, you know, like... They have that there, and I always wanted to try to do something with that. But, you know, I think this is a pretty good little kitchen. I don't really think we need to do much more with this. Like, let's be honest. That's pretty pretty solid. Um, I would like to change the flooring in here, though. Let's switch it out for something else. How about some end stone? Never use end stone. I just want to kind of, you know, the, I mean, the reason why I'm using end stone here is because it kind of makes it look a little bit dirty. And that that's, I'm all for that because, let's be honest, I don't really think the McDonald's kitchen is the cleanest thing in the world so maybe this is a little bit more realistic and then of course we need to put doors you know we don't need doors but we're gonna put them anyway because um why not you know this is a modern mcdonald's we want to hide away the the dirty stuff in the back so that there we go we got our kitchen um only other thing you know i'm gonna make like a little welcome carpet i'm gonna make it out of yellow and red Oh, no, no autosave. No, bad autosave. Nope. Okay. There we go. We've got to fix that. One, two, three. And... One, two, three, four, five. Do, 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 do. There we go. We got our McDonald's opening carpet. We're going to put another one over here. Um, and this one's going to be much smaller, so... Well, actually, not really, but <laughs> you get the point. There we go opening carpet so now we have our mcdonald's this looks pretty so cool actually pretty so cool that's what i just said i uh have a speak impediment <laughs> that was a funny joke in the uh, skyrim let's play okay so i mean that's pretty much it for the little layout of the mcdonald's i could add more lighting up here and i definitely would like to um yeah definitely would like to so you know what i'm gonna do actually I'm going to cut the video real quick, guys. I am going to add some more lighting to the ceiling. I'm going to go ahead and just furnish the bathrooms real quick. And then I'm going to add a little bit more landscaping on the outside. Maybe plant a few more. Can I get out of the door? Maybe plant a few more trees. And, um, you know, as the sun starts to rise. Plant a few more trees. Add a little bit more landscaping. And then we will be done with this Let's Build. So, guys, I really want to thank you guys for tuning in. So, I'm going to do this stuff real quick. And I will come right back to you guys. Look at that from the, the outside. That actually looks really nice. In peering into the inside so anyway guys i will do that real quick i'll be right back okay guys uh i want to thank you guys all for watching i have actually went ahead and finished up the mcdonald's uh right here i thought it'd be very appropriate to add yellow and red flowers underneath of the little window thing there so that's cool and then you come on the inside and uh what i did was i actually uh, indented the ceiling and added some lighting that was much needed so it makes the uh entire room look a lot better so i mean that's pretty much it i did the bathrooms um and yeah, so guys, thanks for watching. It's been Dan Langs. This was a pretty fun little project. 
little McDonald's, you know, it's really simple, but you know, it's a nice little touch to a world. Cool little uh, feature. So if you want to build into your world, by all means, if you have already, that's awesome. And uh, thanks for tuning in for the series, guys. Click the like button like you always do. You guys support my channel so well. I really appreciate it. Continue to click the like button. Subscribe if you're new. And uh, I will love you forever. So it's been Dan Lax, guys. Thanks for following me on this little Let's Build. And I will talk to you guys on the next one. Peace out.